I've, um, I've had a haircut. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the Drift Day video. The Lexus did actually really well. I was kind of surprised with it. A lot of people said they're really hard to skid. I can see where they're coming from. <laughs> it's kind of slow. But when you have, I don't know, let's say like, you've got a full tire. When you're like halfway through that and you're on like the lower end where it's starting to wear out, that's when it's like super fun. It's kind of just a pretty sick car. But we do have a change of plan. I don't want you guys to think I'm all over the shop with my decisions and stuff like that. But this one is on the same sort of ball game. The Lex is for sale. I do have a reason why I'm selling it. Basically, I just don't like it. <laughs> it might sound really weird. It's a nice car. My voice just broke. It's a nice car. Works well. Drives really nice. It was easy to skid, but like I said, it was lacking in power. When you had like full tires on the rear, in the dry, it was pretty difficult. It kind of frustrated me. I didn't actually put that bit in the video because it was like, it was just kind of pointless. There was a bit where I put new tires on and I was getting super pissed off with the car. me off now. I just wasn't doing what I could do 10 minutes ago because of the tread um, and it kind of wound me up so hold on I'm gonna sit down I'll explain this. Basically we got back from the drift day and I was talking about it and I was like let's say this pursued into like a real hobby like I kept doing drift days and we did it which I'm probably is gonna happen so I was thinking if I was frustrated with lack of power on day one then I'm probably gonna need more power right I don't want fucking 300 brake I just want like you know not that. <laughs> we were looking at like swaps and stuff like that and I've always wanted a V8 because basically like a common swap on it is the 1UZ. You'd be like a couple of grand deep into a 1UZ swap before it actually ran. And then you'd need to buy a kit, then you'd need to buy nice wheels and probably better coilovers. <laughs> and then you're like thousands deep into a car which I actually don't like that much. But that car is mint. I love that car. Like I'm fully in love with it. I'm like trying to get in shot here. <laughs> um, Come on, Cupra, I love. Even the Passat, I'm like, this is mint. The Lexus, why would I spend thousands of pounds on a car that I don't really particularly like? So, I'm gonna sell it. That's what we're doing. We have something else coming. Basically, I'm getting another BMW. On the back of that trailer there is an E36 compact. And it's mine. <laughs> I just bought it. Also shout out to my dude, James Sharp, who is driving the trailer for me. He always sorts me out when I need stuff picking up, so I'll give him a little plug. If you guys need any trailer work doing, Chatham, Gloucester, Siren, anywhere really, he does the whole of the UK. Just give him a message on Instagram, drop him a DM. This is Instagram, tell him I sent you and he'll sort you out. He's a good lad, good lad. So cheers, James. Before I run you through the compact and tell you my plans and show you and do a little walk around. <laughs> Can't believe I bought a compact. Um, so before I do that, I want to shout out today's sponsor, which is Acer Predator. We teamed up with Acer a few months ago and um, it's kind of just sick to have them back on the channel. So appreciate that. Some of you know I'm a bit of a PC nerd and obviously I like cars and driving. So this one's pretty sick. Acer have teamed up with Microsoft and a bunch of others and they've launched this competition which you basically just race people and win stuff. So you jump on a set of Corsa. If you don't have a set of Corsa, there is a link in the description down below. You can get 80% off it through this competition. Race some people, set some lap times, and you win some cool stuff. First place prize gets you a full gaming rig setup. It's a full Predator branded racing rig, along with actually becoming a member of the R8G eSports team, which is pretty cool. There's also some other stuff up for grabs. There is a two and a half grand Predator PC tower setup, along with some monitors and other stuff like that. And then there's like loads of other prizes. If you want to race people, you win some cool stuff. If you are bad at racing, slow, can't be bothered, then you can also sign up to this comp just by registering. There's a link in the description. The more of you that enter, the more it helps me out and Acer, and the more I can do dumb stuff on this channel. Speaking of dumb stuff, behind that wall over there is something pretty big, something I'm very excited about, but I'm not gonna show you. Can kind of, you can kind of see it from here. I'm not gonna show you. You can speculate that in the comments. Companies like Acer make that possible, so I wanna say a huge shout out to them, and click the link, enter the comp, and uh, win for me. 
compact baby. You haven't seen this yet, have you? No. We have now. Uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Set. You like it? Yeah, I like the colour. And I like the fact it's a compact. I used to absolutely hate compacts with a passion. I used to think they were the worst thing in the world. They're kind of growing on me a little bit. Basically, the Lexus is weak and Stu was just basically in my ear, wasn't he? He was like, yeah, he loves them, doesn't he? Get a six pot compact. So here we are. Got the compact bit. Got the compact bit, just need a six pot. Pop the bonnet, we'll show him what's in there. So as you can see, it's a bit, a bit crusty. Oh, oh, what was that? I feel the crisp on that. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. Four banger. Little four banger, I don't know what this is, M42? Don't know, one six in it. This is a- uh, Weak. Not gonna stay. The bloke who I bought off, had Shut it for 20 down. years. Did it? Yeah, he owned it for 20 years. And then it sat for the last three because it failed an MOT on like a steering rack thing, I think. Can I shut this? Yeah. Just blow your shorts off. <laughs> blow your shorts off, that is. <laughs> he owned it for 20 years and then it failed the MOT on like a steering rack thing. Um, or power, st I don't know, there's power steering fluid all over the car park, so. It's probably power steering, yeah. Um, so it failed that, and then it just sat for three years, which is why it's a bit crusty. Shout out to Stu for hooking me up with the um, contact. It was the night we got home from the drift day. We just got back to Dan's. We started unloading the trailer. This idea kind of formed, sell the Lexus, buy a compact, and then within a day, I had this compact. Happened pretty quick, didn't it? Right, let's, let's show you around it. Let's show you around. So we've obviously got, it's not like in the best condition. We've got a bit of crust there. That's only surface though. What else we got? That is clean. Won't be when I fucking thaw it. <laughs> <laughs> this one we got a bit of a bit of bubbling. What colour is it? Yeah, what colour is this? Oh, I don't know. I was asking you. I, I don't know. I don't oh. think I like it though. I do. It needs to be yellow, really, doesn't it? Yeah, yellow would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, Dakar yellow. How's this arch? Clean. It is fucking clean. Like it's this. actually pretty clean, yeah. Yeah, it's really clean. There's like a dent somewhere here. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> It'll dick love it. Cool plate as well, isn't it? Yeah, you said it isn't private? It's not private, it's like the old prefix they did. I didn't know that. Yeah, they sometimes did six letter number plates or whatever. Are they parking sensors? Someone tell me. Oh. What do you reckon? Reflectors. <laughs> like yellow <Cat> pedals. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it stinks. I like that shit where they aim it towards you. That is the... Is that a 35 mil um, film? Roll, roll of film. I think yeah. it's a lock and wheel on it. Ah, it's a lock and wheel on it, yeah. <laughs> it is really nice. It's actually very it's fucking It's cool. very different to mine. Why is it so different? It's not, is it? Yeah, the dash is way smaller than mine. It's a smaller car, isn't it? Compact. Um, interior is going to get gutted, obviously, straight away. We need to fit my seats back in this. I am going to find an M50 or an M52, and we are going to do the first motor swap on this channel, and we're going to do it here. Me and Andy have never done a motor swap, have we? I have actually never done a pull it out and put it, a new one in. No, me either. And we're actually quite retarded as well, so it'd yeah. be funny to watch us. But yeah, that's the plan. We're going to M50 swap it. I've pretty much already sourced the engine, haven't I? We've, we've got that. We've got that. I just need to get it. So the next couple of videos, we're going to be pulling the engine out of this and putting a new one in it. Next episode. Next episode. Also, I've been spunking big money recently. It's called all these sponsors. Got a two post lift coming <laughs> on Wednesday, <laughs> which I'm real stoked about. That um, would be a game changer, wouldn't it? Yeah, so that would be way easier. I should probably clean it, but I really can't be bothered. Fuck cleaning it. Fuck that. Oh, do you know what I do want to do? Hold this. Hold this. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Giant Tobler. Ah, no, you open it. Okay. Okay. That's that black guy in the um, jungle, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Sonny's on the floor. Oh dear. Sonny's on the floor. Lucky they are uh, BQR own brand, really durable sunglasses. <laughs> we've just launched new Sonny's. They're on the website now if you want to get them. We've got these, which is like a round pair. They come in a little box. Or we've got like a... Wayfarer style. They're nice. They're nice. You can get a little rag on it. Little rag. BKR microfiber, look at that. <whistles> and a box for your weed. Link in the description. Oh, should we do a giveaway? Yes. If you want to win a pair of those sunglasses, actually, I'll give away two. If you want to win sunglasses 
Comment uh, down below. What can I comment? Oh shit. Oh, I didn't even have any prep for this. What do you think of the compact? What do you think of the idea of ditching the Lexus and putting a six pot engine in this and skidding this instead? Um, if you could be one animal, land animal, but it has to have wings and <laughs> three or more legs. <laughs> what animal is there that has four legs and wings? That lives oh, there on is land? One, is that, yeah. Nah. Fucking Pegasus. Right, one or more legs. Birds, basically, then. Yeah. What You're... bird would you be if you had to be a bird? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bit of it. That would be a good end. So, if you want to win the sunglasses, just drop a comment down below. Also, this is the winner from last video. Well done. So, story with this is, I helped Dan with modernising his branding. Um, so, we got him a new logo sorted. And then I just thought it'd be cool. I got him one of these as well. So he's got one up in his garage and I thought it'd be cool to get one up here because we haven't got enough banners. And I like supporting Dan because Dan's real nice. The man. Dan is the man, isn't he? Dan is the man. Great bloke. Nice man. Yeah, thanks Dan. Cheers Dan. You go first, Dan. There it is then. Shout out to Dan. Right, so, obviously, I've now got the compact. This Lexus is for sale. I can't be bothered to write an advert. I just want to sell it. If you want to buy this, it's full drift ready. The only thing is, um, I'm keeping my seats. So it'll come with the stock seats. You get all the spare wheels with it. So you get loads of drift spares. Um, and also front seats. The full interior is still here. So it'll come with a full interior, but basically this car is set up for skidding. It's literally ready to go. As you saw, I just skidded it. You've got the welded diff, you've got coilovers. It's on 90,000 miles. It's got MOT till October, November, and it's pretty mint. Two and a half grand, you buy this, you get one choice of any bit of clothing. Yep. Anything. Yep. And you come to the drift day for free. Our next drift day, you come for free. You don't have to pay. Big shout. You come in this for free, We'll rent the track again. Birmingham wheels, you can meet out of us, and you come for free. Yeah, done. We'll, we'll cover your ticket. So we'll, we'll pay for your skid day if you buy this. Two and a half grand, this is my Instagram. DM me, don't fuck me about it. I cannot be bothered, I just want it gone. So for two and a half grand, you get the car. You will not find a cheaper manual on 90,000 miles on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, anywhere. They're really hard to find now. They're going up in value. Drop me a DM if you want this. Please get it out of my way. I don't want it anymore. That's a good deal. Yeah. What's the skid day nowadays? A lot of money. 2001 Lexus IS200 for sale. It's a race. DM me, first one to come get it, has it. The next video of the compact, we're gonna be pulling the motor. Hopefully the Lexus will be gone by then and I can spend it on the new engine. We haven't really done much this video, but I kind of needed to explain everything that's gone on and then now you get what we're doing. But yeah, drop a comment down below. You win sunglasses. DM me on Instagram, buy the Lexus and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.